Residents near the new South Mountain Freeway are upset with what they're seeing along the road. They say there's lots of trash. They're being proactive in fighting back against litter bugs. Fox 10's Nicole Garcia joins us live with the story. Nicole. Well, ADOT says littering, littering along the highways isn't just a problem on the South Mountain Freeway. It's a problem along highways all across the state. ADOT saying that they pick up several dozen tons of trash on a monthly basis, and this littering problem has just gotten worse since the beginning of this pandemic. You may not see it on the road as you're driving, but when you look around, it's everywhere. Litter. Residents say they won't put up with it. As everyone knows, this is a new interstate. It's been open only two years, you know, and lately it just seems like all the side 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 areas of the 202, especially between like Lower Buckeye and Dobbins Road, has just been trash on both sides and on all the exits. And it's just it's just very frustrating, you know, to see this new interstate just look very trashy. I can tell you that every month on the South Mountain Freeway alone, uh, we pick up about uh, 60 cubic yards of litter and debris and about 40 cubic yards of old tires and shredded tires and things like that. And then another, I think, 10 cubic yards of metallic debris. So that's a lot. That's about 60 to 80 tons of debris every month. ADOT crews and contractors maintain the freeways, but it also counts on volunteers and inmate crews. However, COVID restrictions prevented those groups from doing the job. Now they're just starting to pick up again. This is a matter of not opening a window and throwing something out or being really careful about the load you have in the back of your truck or on your trailer or whatever. It is almost entirely preventable, so we urge people to be really aware of that. I mean, if you have trash, think about someone driving it you know, by your house and throwing trash in your front yard. You know, think of it that way. I mean, you know, just because it's not our house, it's still where we live, you know, and you don't want to, you know, so be respectful of the area and don't expect someone just to clean up your mess. Now, those who are caught littering could face a $500 fine, but they have to be caught and reported. ADOT says if you can safely take a photo of the license plate or any identification of somebody you see littering, you can submit that to ADOT or local law enforcement. And ADOT also has a telephone hotline and a website where you can report littering as well. Those are on our website at fox10phoenix.com. Reporting live, I'm Nicole Garcia, Fox 10 News.